right, all right, all right, all right, my people. Now, look, everybody's been telling me to start my own podcast, and so here's the deal. Today is going to be the first episode of my fucking podcast, and we calling it Talking with Twigger, man. Appreciate y'all for who does uh, follow this and everything else. If y'all hear shit in the background, that ain't me. I'm trying to give respect. I don't get it. That's the reason why the first podcast is going to be about women. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's going to be about women. And if I start talking about women, I'm finna trigger all you women out there. But here is the deal, women. Shit's old already with how y'all act. Y'all act stupid as fuck. But when a man tells you that you act stupid as fuck, you want to get in your feelings, man. All you women want to get in your feelings and be like, oh, my God. Oh, oh, this, this. Instead of understanding the fucking fact of what's going on. Now. All you women who gonna sit here and watch this shit, y'all gonna get triggered. Y'all gonna comment down below. That's fine. That's the whole reason why we're doing this podcast, so we can have a conversation. Because it seems to me that if a man tells a woman what he wants, how he wants it, whatever, it's a problem. But a man has to sit here and accept a woman how she is. That is not fucking fair. But y'all want this shit to be fair. You know what I'm saying? That's not fair. But if a nigga say, I don't want you for your body count, it's a problem. But you can sit there and fat and say and, and, and sit there and say, well, I don't want a man if he's broke. Well, we don't want women with a high body count. What's the fucking difference? It's not a difference. But y'all all base it off y'all's feelings. You know what, women? We don't give a fuck about y'all feelings no more. Now, when I say that, oh, it's the way you said it. Who cares, man? Doesn't matter how a man tells you. A man can sit here and fucking tell you, hey, this is what men like. This is what a man wants. Or your own man can sit here and tell you this is what a man wants. But no. You don't want to bypass it. You want to bypass every single thing a man tells you what to do. But, but women, you will go to your job. You will go to your damn job and the boss will tell you what to do. You will do it with no questions asked. None at all. But when you're at home and your man tells you to do something, oh, it's a problem. I don't want to. You're disrespectful. You're so this, you're so that. And I'm speaking about my situation too. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking about my situation too. It's just dumb, bro. It gets old. It's old as shit to keep continuing to try to under, get women to understand what men want and what they don't want. But we all have y'all sit here and we have no choice as men but to accept what y'all want. No, bro. No. That's why a lot of you fucking women are single, man. A lot of you fucking women are single. A lot of you women sitting here living y'all life, giving up y'all pussy here and there to every fucking body and then blame us. How the fuck are you going to blame us when that's your legs? You opened your legs. You opened your legs. I didn't make you open your fucking legs. You opened your legs. Don't get mad at a man because you opened your legs and he get what he want from me and then he leave you. Oh, he just used me. No. No. Y'all use men all the fucking time. All you women think y'all are tens. None of y'all are tens, man. Come on. A lot of y'all not tens, bro. Y'all fives, if that. Take off all that fucking makeup and call yourself a ten still. I bet you can't. There's very slim picking women out there who sit there and can have no makeup on and still be beautiful. It's a slim, a slim thing of y'all. A lot of y'all can't do that shit. A lot of y'all's attitudes is ugly. Y'all talking about hot girls summer and hot this and hot that. Y'all not hot. These 1% niggas can get rid of y'all quick. Just, just There's a million and trillion of you women who want these niggas. So y'all can't sit here and keep trying to get him and think that he's just supposed to be with just y'all. No. That's not how life works. It's got to be a leader. It's got to be a follower. Not a leader and a follower. Yeah, a leader and a follower. And a leader that has a follower, can the follower can fucking help lead. You know what I'm saying? Help lead. Not lead. All you women sitting here want to be masculine. My motherfucking situation. My chick talking about, okay, well, I, I, can't, I can't be submissive. Basically, what she's trying to say, I can't be submissive. But you want me to sit here and accept you how you are. Take you for your stupid ass ways. Take you for the stupid fucking attitude. Take you for you keep fucking putting us in fucked up positions. But I can't get you to be submissive. But I have to accept all that shit. You can fuck up. You can sit there and fuck some money up that we had. And you sent it to the wrong spot. And I get mad at it. Didn't even say nothing. But you see I'm mad at it. You say something to me. I tell you I don't want to fight. And you sit there and you still say something to me. And then I'm, I'm, I'm mad. I, and then we start arguing. When I specifically didn't want to fight with you in the first fucking place. But just because you see me mad. You want to motherfucking do that. All you women out there, man, y'all always want to sit here and look at things from only y'all's point of fucking view. Y'all never look at it from a man's point of view. And it's sad, women. It is so fucking sad. I'm getting in trouble for watching a podcast for and learning about shit and just understanding how this is how women are. Stupid. 
Stupid. All you women, well, it's not about what you say, it's how you say it. Who gives a fuck how I say it? Who cares how I say it? Nobody gives a fuck how y'all say shit. Nobody cares about how you women say shit. Oh, I don't like men for this. Well, I don't like you for having so many motherfucking tattoos. Is that a problem? No. Well, I don't want a broke man. Well, I don't want a fat bitch. Is that a problem? No. Well, I don't want my man to be short. Well, I don't want a bitch to be masculine. Is that a fucking problem? No. We all got our preferences, yeah. But there's it's 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 the way from like a long time ago, man. This shit's been happening. There's always a leader and a follower. Just like I watch everybody in the podcast. Shout out to Fresh and Fit, man. Shout out to them because they trying to make women understand. But when they go on their podcast, all you women want to do, y'all want to say some shit. But then whenever a man starts telling you, you want to interrupt that man. No, you said something. Let me reply to that shit. You know what I'm saying? But y'all can't. Oh, no. Oh, this. Oh, no. Oh, this. I just watched the motherfucking episode today. The person, the lady was like, hey, man, you know, um, you shouldn't call women a hoes if they're hoes. But you would call a nigga broke if they're broke. You know what I'm saying? You don't want a broke nigga. Well, I, what's wrong with me not wanting a hoe? Nothing. Nothing at all. But yet. Y'all make us. I mean, y'all y'all want us to sit here and deal with that. Ladies, why do we have to deal with y'all's bullshit, but y'all don't want to deal with our bullshit? And we ain't even coming with the bullshit. We dealing with bullshit because y'all making bullshit. And then we're going to get women to comments. No, no, you know, this and this and that. No, y'all just don't understand. Y'all can't grasp it in y'all mind to understand what men really fucking want from y'all. Y'all can't do that shit. And y'all won't do that shit. Y'all want us to accept you for you, but don't want to accept me for getting onto you for the shit that you do. That is the dumbest shit ever. We are never going to get anywhere in life, man. That's why a lot of the men are going overseas and getting women. I want to. I don't even want to be with a woman right now. But if I do, I'd rather have somebody overseas who's not like a westernized fucking woman. Because a westernized woman is why I'm going through what the fuck I'm going through now. Doesn't it make sense to save fucking money so we don't be broke? Yeah. Doesn't it make sense... To motherfucking have your priorities together so we don't be living on the fucking streets? Yeah. Am I saying anything wrong? No. But let her tell it. Oh, I'm wrong. Because it's how you said it. So fucking what? So fucking what? After you get called a bitch after you do a bunch of stupid shit. Not from the jump. I didn't just wake up and say bitch. No. But if I call a bitch a bitch. You know what I'm saying? A bitch that's acting like a real bitch. If I call you a bitch. Oh, it's a problem. It's a motherfucking problem. But look how you're acting. How you going to get mad at me for what you did? That makes no sense. But you women can't take no accountability, man. Y'all cannot take no accountability with nothing that happens in life. But yet, this is the reason why the world is the way it is, man. Why does every woman think they are a fucking 10? Y'all are not 10. Y'all are not special like y'all think. Y'all are replaceable. Y'all are dispensable, man. It's like a piece of gum. When the flavor gets done, we don't want that flavor no more. We'll go get another fucking flavor. Or get another motherfucker piece. That's how it is, man. This shit is dumb that we have to keep sitting here and going back and fucking forward with women. Because women can't seem to understand what men want. But when we tell you what you want, what we want, it's a problem. But y'all are okay with telling us everything that y'all don't want and want. But when we tell you what we don't want and what we want, oh, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. Like they always say, fuck the messenger. Did you get the message? You know what I'm saying? Did you get the message of what men want? Did you get the message of why the fuck a man sitting here is trying to love on you and you're not even giving that a chance because you're stuck in your own fucking ways? My situation, my chick's 10 years older than me. She's so stuck in her ways, she don't want to change shit, but she want me to accept her for everything that she does. But she don't accept me for anything that I do. That's how, how much sense does that make? That makes no fucking sense. None at all. But yet, in her mind, she's still fucking right. She's still going to be right, no matter what. It's because you called me a name. Why'd you get called a name? It doesn't matter. You called me a name. You're disrespectful. Why'd you get disrespected? None of that matters. It never matters why. It never matters. You women will cause fights, start fights, and then when you nigga call you a bitch or cuss your ass out or yell at you, then y'all want to play fucking victim. I'm tired of y'all victims, man. I'm so I'm so tired. My girl was crying earlier about trying to be a nigga. She's trying to be a victim, bro. You can't. You caused this fight today. The first time in our history, I didn't even fucking argue. I shut the fuck up, didn't get mad, didn't even say why I was mad, none of that shit. She already knew why I was mad. Asked me for some headphones. I went and got the headphones to her, didn't say shit about it, none of that shit. I asked her a little while ago for a motherfucking uh, light. <sighs> Getting up, slamming shit. Really? I was mad at you earlier. I didn't get up, slam shit. I went over there, got my motherfucking headphones, and gave it to you. But when I asked you for something, oh, 